Wave gliders are autonomous vehicles which operate on the ocean surface and are known for their unique propulsion mechanism which harnesses energy from the motion of waves. This allows them to be deployed out at sea for months at a time. One difficulty in using wave gliders for research is around planning routes for them to follow. This is a challenging task due to the nature of their propulsion mechanism. Testing systems like the wave glider is most accurate when it's tested in real environments. However, for the wave glider, this means testing in the ocean. Unfortunately, this isn't feasible due to the cost of setting up experiments, waiting for the right ocean conditions, non-repeatability of experiments due to the stochastic nature of the ocean, a long development testing turnaround time, and the inability to take lab equipment out to sea. To solve this problem, we wanted to create a realistic hardware-in-the-loop simulator to emulate an ocean environment for testing purposes. The project I'm involved with aims to see if the Stuart platform can be used as a viable simulation platform for the wave glider. The Stuart platform is a parallel manipulator. This is because it has a platform attached to a base via six extendable legs. These legs can be moved independently of one another to manipulate the position of the platform. This gives the platform six degrees of freedom, perfect for simulating an ocean surface. In designing the platform, I looked into research around their kinematics and how they could be designed to maximize the movement of the platform. The first stage of the design involved simulating various different platform configurations in MATLAB, allowing me to test the different configurations before beginning a mechanical design. I then moved on to designing parts of the platform in SOLIDWORKS. I had to deal with trade-offs between parts that made the platform light so that it could be easily maneuvered, parts that were more robust and parts which gave the platform a greater range of movement. In the end, I had prototyped three separate platforms before settling on a final design. The next stage of the project involved writing microcontroller code which would interface with the computer, allowing for the platform to be controlled via a USB connection. Once this was completed, it was time to test. My final design works by using MATLAB to simulate the inverse kinematics of the platform, allowing a user to input commands providing the roll, pitch and yaw of the platform, as well as a translation along the X, Y and Z axes. This is then simulated on a MATLAB model of the platform. MATLAB calculates a command to be sent to the platform telling it what position each actuator should be in. I developed a protocol similar to G-code, which is used in 3D printers to achieve this. Along with this, the MATLAB simulated model of the platform can run simulations based off pre-recorded data, or even data being live streamed to it by the MATLAB mobile app. This means that a cell phone can be used to directly control the platform, or be used to log inertial measurement data which can be played back at a later stage. Thanks for watching.